Morris Bench was a crew member on board a ship testing experimental generator when he was accidentally knocked overboard and fell near the generator. The literal generator had energies pulsing off of it. Combined with the gases in the water ended up giving him the ability to turn his body to water. He ended up being angered by his transformation. You guys know the nine yards. Spider-Man is in the comic because Spider-Man is one of his main villains. He just happens to be there. Makes perfect sense, right? He went on a crusade to those that made him a freak among those people. You already know who it is. Spider-Man. This power is actually pretty cool. Considering how much water there is on the planet, there's literally 70% water on the planet. Seems like he would be like too much for somebody like Spider-Man, you know what I mean? Realistically speaking. For all intents and purposes, you can literally just call this guy Water Man. He has complete control over water. His main power enables all his other abilities. Body can turn entirely into liquid and shape itself freely. The main issue is that the reason why he just doesn't become a god like planet-sized piece of ocean is that he has a limit of how much liquid he can draw in though. He cannot control himself if he's turned into ice involuntarily, stuff like that, because he would just be too godlike. If one day he said, oh, I'm just going to absorb the entire ocean. It's a wrap. <laughs> like, who going to stop him? Being turned into steam isn't an automatic win. Sometimes it even has no effect on him. He can turn into water quickly in the middle of punches, so the punches just pass through him like a log gear type. He can knock out people with great force by slamming into him, being an issue for Avenger type characters. He can make a tidal wave that can overturn cars, carries money bags with him, then sucks the moisture out of the money so the money won't just be soaking wet. Like, literally look how he takes the, the money. That's broken. He can drown folks and then turn them into meat puppets, basically, because he can just soak them with water and just control their body like an extension of him, one can say. And if you got like little cracks, he can just slide in there real quick with them, cl them cracks in the places or planes. The fact he can travel through any water source is useful for hiding in plain sight or escaping. I mean, he could be hiding in your lemonade for all you know. You know what I'm saying? He's even gotten in battle feats with characters like Black Panther to the point where Black Panther couldn't instantly break free of the grip other than shocking him because, you know, water and electricity don't mix. You know what I'm saying? Charge the cat suit, static electricity. That's pretty impressive though. He also has enough water to fill up a cargo hole. Dodges attacks from characters like Black Panther. He dodges around a knife from black panther doesn't have a drop of moisture for when he leaves they even state no drop of water was left in the bay like you know how frustrating it would be trying to punch water man his water can even be lethal making it like blades and stuff of that sort that awkward moment when he was able to force men to shoot off their guns by wrapping ice around their arms he can literally separate fuel from water make that make sense Lily states here about the fuel tank he's a decent counter for characters like human torch like spreading himself to extinguish human torch his flames out in a weird way he kind of can just fly because technically there's moisture in the air just kind of like jet around he can even trap someone and they have no leverage plenty of battle feats with spider Spider-Man, of course. People can't literally get out of the pool. Literally, everybody has water in them. He can literally suck the water out of people, so he's pretty freaking hexy. Even if you're relatively stronger than him, you don't necessarily have a permanent victory over him. He can just suck the water out of you. How the heck you win against that? You know what I'm saying? Yes, he can make water clones. It's, he's a nuisance for all. For, like, you see this? Flood buildings by using water inside the building. You're just not safe nowhere with this guy. I'm just saying. His durability is kind of immeasurable, but it, when he's blasted apart, he can reform back together by this time when he got blasted apart by Shocker. Funny looking art, I know. Durability wise, Thunder Strike's Magic Mace goes right through him, literally being annoying to like higher tiers. Even states, Magic Mace passes right through him. Thunder Strike are being near them powerhouse tiers. Even knocks Thunder Strike on his butt in this occasion. Like literally laughing off attacks from multiple people. How do you hit this guy? Are we just going to forget the fact that Spider-Man stated that he's no match for Hydro Man? You got to fight him with elemental stuff. Trying to slug it out with a guy made of water is really hard. He turned like into this water elephant to blast him, knocking him on his butt. Even a dragon as Hydro Man. Shape shifting his arms or hands into different things. He turns his hands into egg scramblers because he wants to scramble his brain, he says. Yet another occasion of him being splattered and then he just becomes a fist punch. Tell you, he can give top tiers issues, man. I mean, you're never safe. He could be lurking in any water. It's actually pretty creepy. Like coming out of the sink, coming out of a bucket, coming out of the shower, coming out of the washing machine. It's just you're not safe. In this occasion with a battle feat with Spider-Man, Spider-Man passing right through him. He can even make his water as hard as bullets. That's freaking scary. It's implying that he can blast the water in insane speeds to make them pierce through metal and stuff to be an actual threat for Spider-Man to hear. Spider-Man even states with this blast right here by Hydro-Man, if he hadn't sensed that attack coming, it would have broken him, he said. And of course, bullets are doing freaking nothing to his body. Like, why do you even try? It's a classic theme that Shapeshifters does, like literally making blades. He really specializes in blast power. I mean, just look what he does to this car. Never forget the fact that he handled Firestar, Gravity, and Spider-Girl, and they was like reeling really hard. There's even writer intent. How's he doing this? It's three against one, and he's mopping the floor with us. 
a spider family member getting mopped too. He's like the ultimate counter against Salmon. They've had battle feats before. Look how he slams Salmon through some metal like with attack force. He has good pain tolerance. I'm going back to this battle feat with Black Panther, of course. Uh, even though Black Panther did hurt him with the shock right here, the fact that he's still smiling after that, letting you know it's not an instant win is impressive, giving Black Panther some issues and all the nine yards. He even fought Ulysses Claudius one time with this sound attack. He seems to be really not that phased by the sound attack. How much weight you lift in Titania? And the fact he's not instantly defeated by an arcade machine's electricity flowing through him. Hydro Man, he's strong enough to punch Black Panther's energy daggers away. Like right here, for example, showing he's an issue. He punches so hard, Human Torch goes through a cinder block wall. Raw strength, coming out of the toilet too. Hey, Water Ride Car, throws a Water Ride Car at Spider-Man. Another occasion battlefield with Spider-Man and Human Torch in this occasion is here as well. Powerful enough to rip through water slides, raw power. And I think it's pretty obvious that he reacts to Spider-Man consistently. So one can say he has competent fighting speed. Like on this occasion as well, plenty of battlefields with Spider-Man. Like there, he's literally trying to dodge and he still hits Spider-Man showing his speed. He can keep up with his spider sense on top of his insane reflexes. He has great maneuverability thanks to him being able to leap from rooftop to rooftop thanks to like him being able to use his lower body as jet propulsion through the air. Dodges arrows from Hawkeye. In combat speed, look at all this mass of water. It has shocks on the tip so he had to dodge it and he wraps him up like that showing how much of a threat he is. Hydro Man, is that Wonder Man looking sleepy? Like it's consistent about how he can jet propel himself. Characters like the thing punch him, he can punch him back. Look like he broke a piece of chip off the thing. Is able to do this to the thing to try to drown him, sneak attack on him. It does seem like a combination of human torch burning him with the thing's strength helps him out, helps him be hittable, I guess, or cause pain to him at least. This right here says a lot about his striking power doing this to the thing, though, considering how consistently strong the thing is. Even on occasions when he's actually legitly defeated, basically evaporated, like literal rainfalls can fix that. So yeah, he, it's going to rain sometime. Spider-Man knew that didn't end him. He said, if you can hear me, I wish you love. Showing that Spider-Man has no bad blood against him. Fair enough, right? He's even been turned into ice before and even shattered by the thing in a Fantastic Four fight. Battle feet. But he does reform a panel later, even though he got shattered here. So, yeah, you know, water is kind of just ice. But seriously, though, electricity is supposed to be his weakness, but he has a high tolerance to this, though. One could say pain high tolerance. Able to match Sandman in strength or in straight battle feats. Gotta respect these two. Imagine this fight being animated. Then that would be something entertaining to see. I would even go as far as saying he has a clean advantage over Sandman. Thanks to him just literally being water. Even Sandman had to be saved before Spider-Man intervened. On this occasion, reacting to Spider-Man, it's even right intent on his fighting speed. He even stated, I couldn't avoid it in time, even though my spider sense warned me it was coming. Letting you know he's fast enough with this level of power, even on top of Spider-Man's spider sense. So he has to be competent in speed. He literally trapped Silver Sable inside of water. She could not get out. He was going to drown her until Spider-Man intervened. Another case was Spider-Man looking at his water form. Spider-Man's having issues with him consistently. Even when semen is thrown on him, even after he is hardened, he's able to eventually dilute it though semen would be a good strategy to take on hydra man gotta admit that's why he went to that storm drain this guy's a bully he drowned an entire room of people to get information out of them he said speaker drown oh he can shatter the armored car into pieces thanks to water pressure like that's a lot of blast power one can say he can hit as hard as missiles remember that panel brought up by wonder man this guy was able to actually get a w on a powerful powerhouse like wonder man via hacks not necessarily being on his level of strength but via hacks wonder man even states you can use all the pressure you want on me you're not going to be able to beat me with pressure he says i don't need air but i'm virtually indestructible so he literally goes inside wonder man's mouth inside his belly exerting pressure enabling him to black out like what did you do inside of wonder man's body they even stated he beat two avengers in two minutes impressive power i'm just saying wonder man is somebody that cannot be disrespected this guy has slugged it out with thor in some serious battles even abomination hulk tier villain yet this didn't stop hydro man from doing this to a powerhouse like wonder man there's even moments with spider-man where he exerts so much pressure he can't even push through the water see what i'm saying like he's literally kind of having like a, a beam struggle with spider-man as you can see blasting him to the ground showing his level of power Heck, he even short circuits an automated gun by literally being inside of it. Almost drowned Spider-Man on this occasion. Consistent Spider-Man feet. He was able to locate invisible women while she's invisible by just making it rain everywhere in the vicinity. That was actually pretty freaking smart of an idea. But another case where Black Panther blasted him this hard. He's kind of looking like he's down. He can make this much water, enough to wipe out an entire downtown area basically, or a building, or a couple buildings. It even states, entirety of the downtown in one shot. He's just as powerful as how much water is in the vicinity basically. Might not want to fight him at the beach. In this occasion, he sucked the water out of Spider-Man's body. 
Another occasion was Spider-Man battling him in the air, shooting him upwards. On this occasion with Hawkeye and Red Wolf, could have drowned him if he wished. He was working for a man, and that's pretty much the reason why they didn't get drowned. He was ordered not to. Just letting you know how much of a threat he is. Hawkeye's a beast. Super Soldier tier character. He absorbed two tons of water without showing an insane crease of mass. It's kind of like he can condense it. He nearly drowned Deathlock this one time. Ain't that something else? Battle feet. Had him on the verge before he was turning to steam by one of Deathlock's energy blasts, if that makes sense. And he can creep into a locked room by seeping into the cracks of a door. And here you have more lore on Hydro Man. If you want to read this, you can. You got more lore for him. They even say that his strength is slightly enhanced by his abnormal physiology. Recent alterations of Bench's powers by the wizard have enabled Bench to manipulate water separate from his body. He can only do water that was connected to his body. But thanks to upgrades throughout the years, power increases throughout the years, character development, he can control water sources separate from his own body there's a single molecule that holds his consciousness and stuff but now he can control water that's not near him the wizard also has precautions to where if he wants to not be loyal to him he can legitly transform himself wholly or partially in water you you guys already knew that just wanted to highlight that in his lore look what spider-man even said in his lore about hydro man he said someone has to say it, a guy with this much power should be a major threat, but since he's dumb as opposed, he's strictly hench thug material, saying that he should easily be a more of a prominent threat in Marvel Comics if he actually was a little bit smarter, he probably can utilize his techniques a lot better, strategies, tactics would make him so much more of a threat with a power this dangerous. I have to agree with Spider-Man on this one, like he should be like an Avenger level threat, because this would be hard, especially if he find a way to science scientifically increase himself to the point where he absorbed all the water in the ocean or some crap. There was even a time where Hydro Man and Sandman did the fusion technique and became one this fusion happened and taking place in one of their many fights of course and they just happened to fuse together in this occasion with spider-man becoming sandman hydro man fusion mud thing in this state he was knocking spider-man around worse than before walks through walls like it ain't nothing knocks down a section of a wall behind a door pulling free from meta restraints he eats a crate being slammed on him like that ain't nothing to me he literally grows in size as more water is applied hydro man is a beast he should be able to lift over hundreds of tons he, he can shatter tanks with his punches rival spider-man consistently to where spider-man can't even straight up beat him in straight on full tug of war type of a situation so he can definitely match spider-man but imagine if a writer actually wanted to make him smart genius that he learned how to make his powers enhanced even more to an insane degree to where he can absorb all the water in the ocean i mean just imagine that for a second there's quadrillion more tons of water in the entire world like imagine if he was able to absorb all of this control at will that means he would be able to produce quadrillions of tons of force at will wouldn't that be overpowered but what do you guys think post your comments down below let me know what you all think do you respect hydro man after all this do you believe he deserves more shine he's got a very overpowered ability like he reminds me of log is off of one piece beings that can't be hit physically hydro man kind of falls in this standard as well unless you have like his elemental weakness fire electricity stuff like that but if you try to punch him with raw blunt force it ain't gonna go well most of the time you know what i'm saying i mean just imagine if he was in a spider-man ps5 game where you got to use different type of webs to fight this elemental being or have spider-man create special webs that can counteract this same being hydro man imagine having a whole boss battle revolving around stuff like that wouldn't you respect that i know i would but i'll see you guys later check out them playlists hit a like on the video and subscribe if you would like to i'll see you guys later though